The AFL 2023 season is complete with Collingwood finishing on top. Well done to them, even if it was Australia versus the Magpies. I'm back home from Australia, and I think it's about time we see what my predictions were like compared to how the league actually finished. So, let's see how I did. So the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna give myself one point if I was correct, and zero if I was not. It's as straightforward as that. You get nothing for coming second place in this game. So, looking at position number 18. Yes, uh, I predicted it. West Coast Eagles, they had a shocking season. They finished rock bottom in 18th spot. So I will get one point for that. So that is a good start. It doesn't get much better than that. Now, all I would say about West Coast is it almost looked like they were losing on purpose to get better draft places at the end of the season. They weren't good. They had a they had a rare good win at the end of the season, but uh, they were hopeless. They were hopeless. Their team looked old and slow, lacking creativity, and so that's all I've got for them. So I get one point. That's good. Now, moving up to 17th place, I get another point. I did predict North to do quite badly, and I predicted them to finish 17th. So uh, that's a good one. However, it was frustrating with North because... Throughout the season, North looked like they could win. Unlike West Coast, which they just didn't look like they could win. North did. They scored. They got points on the board. But they could never hold on or just get over the line. The other team, most of the time, always just scored more than them. And, and in North games, they did end up quite high-scoring games. Which, at least if you're a North fan, at least I suppose that's something. But that is another point. Then we move to 16th place. I predicted Hawthorne Hawks and Hawthorne Hawks finished in 16th place. And I don't know if it's just me, but I think the bottom three were quite easy to pick, to be honest. Hawthorne, you know, yeah, they actually got um, a couple of, of good results. Uh, the last two they lost, but they did win two before that. But they were just hopeless. I think I don't know with Hawthorne, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like Hawthorne have the names, but they've passed their peak. Uh, and I think that is their problem with Hawks. They, I don't necessarily, correct me if I'm wrong again, but I don't think they've got any real talent coming through. I think they've just got names of great players that were great, that aren't great anymore. Anyway, in 15th place, I predicted GWS, and at one point it was looking quite accurate. Um, but GWS, wow, what a run of form they had near the end of the season. And we had that with quite a few teams. A really good run of form. I obviously went to the Port versus GWS game. The, the issue with Port were, in all their finals games, they weren't great. Their kicking was woeful in all of their games in the finals. Um, because they ended up finishing 7th. So, yeah, they got there. They had a fantastic run of form. But I, you know, they didn't play like they should have in the finals, in my opinion. To be in that position and play as badly as they did and still get through was odd. Really, really odd. So I get nothing for 15th place. Then we move to 14th. I predicted Essendon. Essendon, the thing with Essendon was they started the season really well. They were up right at the top. Their, their run of form at the start of the season was fantastic. However, you could just see them plummeting. They end up finishing 11th uh, in reality, which is probably good for, for, for them, actually, considering how badly most of the season went. I predicted them to do worse, so once again, I get absolutely nothing. Then we're looking at 13th place. I did Richmond. I got another one correct. Another point on the board. Uh, in 13th place, Richmond did finish in 13th place. So I'm happy with that prediction. Richmond, once again, they had a little run of form and then it went fell apart again. Um, that same as another team that finished above them, we'll talk about in a second. It's just, they just didn't really have any consistency. They didn't have the goal scoring. Their defense was leaky. They were just pretty poor. They obviously got the odd few results, but not enough to get them into the top eight spot. 
Then we move to 12th. Uh, my 12th pick was St Kilda. And as you know, St Kilda, well, they were another team that started really, really well. And actually, I thought halfway through, I thought, this is, they're going to plummet. They're going to, I thought they were going to do the same as Essendon did. I thought they were going to plummet. They didn't. They survived. They did get to sixth place. And obviously in the finals, it didn't quite go to plan. And they got knocked out the first round, I think. So nothing for me there. Then in 11th place, I went for the Gold Coast Suns. Uh, and uh, the Gold Coast actually finished in 15th. So I was incorrect on that. The Gold Coast were a funny one, actually, because they actually had a fair few good games where they won against good teams. And then they would go and lose to teams they probably shouldn't have lost to. So, yeah, uh, I think I probably over-predicted them. But actually, at some point, they looked like they could have made top eight. So, a really strange one, the Suns. Uh, uh, yeah, a really strange one. Anyway, in 10th place, I predicted Port Adelaide. And we know how that went. They ended up having an absolutely fantastic season, finishing in third. So, I get nothing for that. But fair play. Um, they did really, really well. Unfortunately, they played awful, really, really awful against GWS in the uh, in the finals. And so they got knocked out on that one. But f well done. They were first and second for pretty much all the season. And obviously, they slipped to third. But fair play, like I said, they did really well. Then in ninth place, I did Adelaide Crows. Annoyingly, they actually finished in 10th place in real life. I just thought that's about where they were, and I think and my prediction, although I'm going to say I get no points, my prediction was fairly, fairly good. I think I said in the initial video that Crows and Port, you know, you could switch them ninth and 10th place. Um, Crows, they just, like I said, they had some good wins, and they had some losses, and they were distinctively average. That's what I'm going to say. They were just an average team. Um, so, yeah, quite disappointing, actually, because I thought they would do... Well, no, I didn't think they would do better, but they could have done better. Um, and all I'm going to keep hearing about is, oh, we were robbed in the last game where uh, where Swans beat them in the last game of the season where they could have finished in the top, top eight, but unlucky. Bunch of losers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so I get nothing for that. In eighth place, I chose Carlton. I thought, so Carlton just missed out the year before and I thought they will sneak in. They had what an incredible run. I didn't even think Carlton were going to make the top eight and then all of a sudden they couldn't stop losing apart from the last game. And they actually finished fifth. Uh, annoyingly, Carlton beat Swans. Um, Carlton beat Melbourne in the finals. However, I still stand by the fact they're boring um, and I think... In the finals, it was Swans and Melbourne that both had the same issue. We kept scoring behinds. We we gave the game to Carlton. Both Melbourne and Swans, we gave Carlton the games. I don't think Carlton played well enough in the finals. And we gave them the games. And you might disagree because I know loads of Carlton fans watch this. But I will stand by my point. Carlton is boring. Your nickname is the Blues. Um, and I, 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 with the finals performances, I don't think they deserve to get as far as they did in the finals um i don't care moan at me if you like but uh, that's the way i look at it in seventh i went for western bulldogs um they actually finished in ninth they were another team that could have uh, you know could have got into the top eight and and this is my point and I'll, I'll say it now is in terms of the league table at the end of the season it is literally the only interesting thing before the finals is who's going to make the top eight no one cares who finishes top second whatever and no one cares who finishes out of it but there was a real hot race to who's going to make the top eight um the eighth and seventh spot and sixth spot but western bulldogs did not get in there so i was incorrect by two places then i predicted melbourne demons to finish in sixth i didn't think i knew they would be there i knew they'd be there um, and looking at it now, I probably should have predicted them to finish fourth because that's where they finished. They're a solid team. They're a solid team. I think they there were some performances they should have won that they didn't. Um, so, yeah, I get nothing for that as well, and I think they probably could have done better. Like I said, losing to Carlton, for example, um, in the finals, when similar to Swans, just could not score. Just could not score and kept scoring behind. So, 
bit disappointed for Melbourne. Then in fifth place, I went for Geelong. I knew their aging squad, players leaving, I knew they were not going to finish as strongly. And they started so badly, right? Geelong could not buy a win and they were right at the bottom. And then all of a sudden, they had a resurgence. And then all of a sudden, they were awful again. Um, so actually, Geelong finished in 12th. I think that is probably warrants warrants their performances. Um, I don't know what happened. They, they, it was an odd season. I predicted them to finish lower than they did last, but not quite as bad as they did. Uh, yeah, not great from Geelong. Then in fourth place, I predicted the Lions. And annoyingly, uh, they were looking at like they were going to be fourth for a long time, um, or at least there. Uh, they finished second. They had a nice little four-win run at the end of the season. They finished in second. Um, and obviously, they came second in the actual finals. It's interesting because, you know, the first two were in the finals. Um, Lions were just consistent, right? They were consistently good. And that's what you need. You just need the consistency and you will get close to the final. In third, I actually went for Collingwood. I thought they would do better than they did last year. And clearly they did. Um, a fantastic. Look, they did really well this season. You can't fault them. I know no one wants them to win except, uh, except Collingwood fans. Um, it was, as I said, Australia versus <laughs> versus Collingwood. But no, they did very well. They did very well. It could have gone either way in the grand final, but they did very well. So fair play to them. I was two places off. Then this is was my surprise pick that did not go well. In second place, I predicted Fremantle. After the, I think Fremantle finished really, really well last year. And... It just didn't work this year for them, did it? They ended up finishing 14th. Um, it seemed like whenever I predicted them to win, they lost. And when I didn't, they won. But I think this sums it up. It was lack of consistency. In the last five games, they won three out of, out of five. They just did not have the consistency. And that was my surprise pick. And it did not work. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So I get no points for that. And then obviously... I did predict Swans to finish top. And it was reason for that. It wasn't just the fact that I'm a Swans fan. The reason was because we made the grand final um, the year before in 2022, which I actually went to watch. It's on the vlog channel. But I just thought, actually, you know, a young team, they can push on from it. Unfortunately, they didn't. They, they, they got into the top eight with a really good run of form at the end. Um, a really, really good run of form, which I would be like, please, come on. Um, but obviously didn't perform against Carl and too many behinds and lost. So there was there was valid reasons for me to pick them to finish top. It just didn't work. So at the end of that, I finished with four points out of 18. Uh, not very good. There were ones which were fairly close. Like I said, Collingwood, I was only two places off. Uh, Brisbane, only two places off. Melbourne, only two places off. Uh, Bulldogs, I was two places off. Um, Adelaide, I was one place off. So if I was giving half points, I would have got a few more. So I was pretty close, but there was always those ones that really were a surprise. So I think the biggest surprise is, was probably Port. I think that's probably the biggest, that's probably the o most overachieving team of the season. Um, I would say the underachieving team are probably Geelong. I think they should have done better. I know they're aging team, but and play, certain players leaving, but they did win it the year before. Um, so yeah, definitely overachievers, poor underachievers, Geelong. So that's it. That's how we finished the season. Uh, we've got a long, a long Australian summer now to wait for the 2024 season, which hopefully will be an absolute ripper as well. Thank you so much. If you've joined me throughout this season with my tipping competitions then thank you so much. Uh, a special mention to Jackson, who finished top. Unbelievable how well he did. It was incredible. And I did get the last three picks correct. That's all I'm going to say. The grand final and prelims, I did get correct. Thank you so much. Please do like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll be able to do this all again next year. I'll catch you next time.